Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. In this video, we're going to do a quick little preview slash review again of another one of Army Painter's new products. This is the Paint Mixing Empty Bottles. It's a new pack you get with just some empty uh, drop bottles in them. It comes with six. You can see I've been using some. And um, this is a new product. It's coming out. I think it's pre-order at the moment. It comes out in March sometime. It's five euros on their site. It's something I've actually wanted for a long time. And it's not something I'd go out and order by itself. And I keep forgetting to add it to an order when I'm already buying some paint. One better thing, I think, with the Army Paint ones is they're 12 mil bottles. I've always thought with these mixing bottles, I don't need the, the big 18 mil. Like, I'm, Why would I mix that amount of, of paint? There's very few times I need that quantity of it. So these smaller bottles are going to take up less space. A few other uses that I've got so far is you've seen um, I put some ball bearings in them previously and these are the army painter ones still no rust it's about a week later now and this is horrendously orange these cheap ones nasty 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 um, a couple of other well that's probably not a use most of you would want another use I thought would be quite useful for these things is this has got water and I think I'll keep watering one and if I'm mixing say a wash or a glaze or I've just got a paint that I know needs a very specific amount of water I think this is a lot easier to control one drop two drops three drops you know you can control the amount of water so I can work out the sort of ratio for what each wash or glaze etc would would look like I'm, I'm sure like a lot of you I normally just use my my brush and I just go there's a drop there's a now a smaller drop and a teeny drop and then it's sort of gone so it's not very accurate like i don't think it's going to make a huge difference but glazers particularly especially when i'm making tutorials and trying to explain to you that i've put in you know two thirds water i will now know i've got you know two drops and one drop of paint so that's that's one use i will definitely keep one nearby with water for that sort of precision thing and then the other th the, the, the main reason was, you know why it's called the paint mixing bottles is for mixing your own custom paints beforehand. I, I just noticed earlier on the bottle, in fact, it says made by you. So <laughs> it's gonna be a color that you've made. And one that we see a lot on the channel is when I'm mixing Necromancer Cloak and Filthy Suit. So I often paint my grays sort of this, this Necromancer Cloak, I, I really like, it's a nice gray. And sometimes I will highlight directly with filthy suit as you'll see especially like small models where just a quick highlight a dry brush is going to be plenty but you know sometimes i'm doing competition entries or i've just got a larger model and it needs to be a more subtle transition so i need to mix the colors between so one of the easiest ones i do it is just purely about about a 50 50 mix this is slightly more um necromancer cloak here but you know i You've seen this. If you watch the channel, you see me do this a lot. I mix this slightly lighter dark gray, and this is often even in between step between the two. See, that's just a bit, bit, bit. It's just a nicer, nicer transition. If I want a subtle highlight going from necromancer cloak to this, is I feel I think a subtler jump than this. But as I mentioned, if it's a small model, I will just highlight and dry brush. So what you can do, I mean, it's it's going to be fairly obvious. I'm pretty sure most of you will already understand what I'm going to do and probably have already done it. And it's only me that's late to this kind of party. But that is a color I mix time and time again. I use Necromancer Cloak a lot and I suspect I probably use this 50-50 mix equally as often. So I thought, you know what, let's get... Let's get that color made up. So uh, let's see if I run out of this Necromancer cloak. But I have an emergency bottle on standby. This is the one I bought when I very, very first started painting. Zombicide Black Plague. So I bought the Black Plague kit by Army Painter. And I've got a feeling it's on its way out. I mean, it's been three years now. Yeah, that's... Oh, it's splat, splat. It's, get, it's pretty much empty, but you can just pick up this color from the war paints range as well. So let's just add in some more using this pot. Squeezy, squeeze. I'm not going to fill it up. I'm just going to put in enough that I can see. It's kind of hard to tip it, but I've just got to the base here. So I can see where we're up to. And then I want to... Oh, you can see it around the side as well. It's a dark enough color that it shines through the sticker. The sticker's actually a bit in the way. It's a shame it doesn't stop it earlier so I can see because I'm trying to mix 50-50. By all means, let me know in the comments below if you've got an easier way of measuring out sort of half and half because how am I going to know? This is just going to be guesswork. I mean, you get the point and I can obviously go back and forth adding in 
a bit more of filthy suit, a bit more necromancer cloak until I get the colour, you know, exactly as I want. But for demonstration purposes, we'll uh, do that. While we're here, we will uh, let's add in one of those mixing balls, just make it a little bit easier. I might go and time the mix as well while I'm going to do it. But grab a mixing ball, chuck in one of those that just make it a little bit easier. Don't forget to put. Well, let's give it a wipe as well, just while we're here, so I'm not already getting it all yucky. But let's clean that up a bit. There we go. And then don't forget to put the, um, the nozzle back in. And which lid was it? One of the cleaner ones. Let's put this on it. And then I'll go and give it a shake. I'll give it a time, see how long it takes. I imagine about a day, but the ball does make a difference. So we'll see, we'll see. I'll be back in a minute. We'll, we'll jump forward in time. All right, guys, I gave that a shake for a minute and a half. Let's see how well we're doing. So we've got the about the color I was looking for previously. Let's see if this is about, whoa, about that color. And oh, ho, ho, ho. can you see that? That was a nearly exact match. I think I got it a little bit lighter than I'd meant to. But as I said off camera, you know, I can go back, add in some necromancer cloak, darken that back down, just go back and forth. I left, I left plenty of empty space in the bottle, so I am going to be able to do that. But you, you can see, so this is neat necromancer cloak, and I've got this nice highlight color now, um, nowhere near as bright as filthy suit so i can do a final highlight an edge highlight using filthy suit but i've got this really really nice one so base coat normal highlight and then sort of edge highlighting shiniest bit but absolutely spot on so that's just gonna you're gonna start seeing me use this mix a lot lot more because i'm gonna be able to go from necromancer cloak to this and then chuck in some filthy suit afterwards if i want so you can see you can see how that's going to help and hopefully you know I'm not going to need a million of these pots, but uh, over the years, I thought, oh, I wish I had a spare pot. I wish I had an empty pot to kicking around just to mix up either a color or test something or make a glaze that I can keep for a long time. Glazes are probably really, really useful. Um, they're, they're, I find them painful to, to make, and I always make tons anyway, so it may as well be in a bottle and I can just get a single drop, that sort of thing. So that's a great use. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know a couple of things. Any other things I've not thought of for using these? If you already have some empty bottles and if you find them as useful as I think these will be. And then the third one, somebody think of a name for this paint. I think I'm going to, you know, you're going to see this on the channel going forth a lot. I can name it, right? Like instead of having this mix, let's name it. And you have to come to this video and see how I made it. Some of fun. Somebody give me a cool name for it. Thank you all very much for watching. And I'll leave some links in the description below. Catch you again soon.